All right, so I figure it's about at the end of the semester for most people, so I guess it's worth giving a nice little paradigm for making little presentations, because I figure a lot of people might need to do that for whatever reason, or just, you know, any other reason in your life. Um, so in this video, we're gonna make probably the easiest to make presentations you possibly can. Um, so what we're gonna use is a program called Pandoc. Um, so Pandoc is probably I don't know, it, it's a whole world of knowledge. It's really just a, a program that converts documents of any type to documents of any other type. That's why it's called Pandoc. Um, so we're gonna use that to create presentations really just from little tiny notes we make. Um, so I'm gonna CD into this folder, Pandoc, that I've created, and I'm gonna create um, a file called pres.md. Um, so this is gonna be a Markdown file written in Markdown. If you don't know Markdown, you don't need to know it because it's literally the easiest thing in the world. Let me teach you. Uh, so you have a uh, number sign, and this is a section heading. Uh, so, you know, here is text. You can have, uh, this is a list. Um, you know, another list item, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can have another section heading with, uh, um, pretty much the same way you had the other one before. You can have uh, sub subsections, so sub subsection, and here's some uh, text in that. Um, so really, Markdown is a nice way of um, you know making notes and stuff like this. A lot of people use it. Um, I have syntax highlighting and stuff, so I have Vim Markdown installed. Uh, it's nice to have just because it gives you a little a ni nice little uh, perks when you're writing it. Uh, but anyway, it's actually really easy to convert one of these into a slideshow. So if you're taking notes, uh, let's say you're taking notes about a presentation you want to do, and you want to instantly convert that into the presentation, it's actually super easy. Um, so I'm going to actually go to that same folder. Um, now, it's actually really easy to use Pandoc to do this. What you do is you just run Pandoc, you give it the file you want it to, to convert, uh, and to convert it into a... Um, presentation, you're going to want to take the C tag or the T tag and say Beamer. So those of you who watch the channel may know Beamer, of course, is LaTeX way of um, you know making slideshows. So we're actually taking this and converting it to LaTeX, converting it to Beamer, and we're our output's going to be a Beamer file. Um, so uh, then you give it O for the output, and we're just going to call it pres.pdf. Just make sure it's a PDF file. Um, so after you run that, we now should have a compiled PDF uh, in our folder. So I'm going to open that up. And you will see, sure enough, what actually happens is it takes each one of these... Let me make this a little more visible. It takes each one of these section headings and it converts them into a, an actual slide. Um, and you also see that this sub-subsection is you know, some other kind of um, you know, subsection in the slide. So that's nice. Um, but this is this presentation is actually super simple. Um, I mean, I guess it's nice if you want to go things you go through things yourself, but it's a little ugly if you actually want to present it. So what you can do is actually give it a bunch of metadata uh, with extra information, so you can have a title slide and uh, change the color and stuff like that. And that's pretty easy to do. What you do is you really just have some hyphens. You have three hyphens in a row, and in between those you can start putting metadata. For it to use. So for example, let's say we want a title uh, for our thing. We will put title and I'll say Luke's presentation, uh, something simple like that. You can also put author uh, and I'll put my name. Now I'm, oops, now I'm going to um, recompile that. It might take a second. There we go. Uh, so now we have a title slide and it has our author pretty simple enough, um, and it has the slides we expected. Um, so if you want to change the color, the nice thing is, since this is a actually a Beamer presentation, uh, you can use any of Beamer's themes it has by default, or color themes, to change the way it looks. So let's say we want the theme, um, my favorite is Copenhagen. So Copenhagen, um, recompile that. And so that gives your presentation, you know, the kind of color you might want. So, you know, this looks a lot better than just the nothingness. This subsection has a nice little uh, sectioned off area. Everything's a bit more colorful, but a bit easier on the eyes. And you can also have Beamer color themes. Um, um, so if you don't know these, just look them up. Just look up Beamer themes or whatever. Um, there's a list of them. You can also download other ones if you want. But 
these are I'm just using ones that are there by default if you have LaTeX installed um, which by the way you might have to if you're doing this although it's probably a requirement that Pandoc pulls by default um, so anyway now we have a basic presentation uh, I actually don't like this color theme it's a little too a little too much um, but so it's important to know that pretty much everything you can do in Markdown you can integrate into this presentation so let's say um, we want to have another slide and this is going to be text formatting um, so the main reason you might, might want to do this is just because it's a lot easier to write in Markdown than it is in LaTeX or something if you actually want to do it in Beamer. Um, I do use Beamer if I need like references and stuff. I think there's actually a way to do that in Pandoc, but I haven't done it yet. But anyway, you can do stuff like um, bold text just with um, uh, two little stars around it. They disappear when I'm not on the line, but that's not important. Uh, you can have emphatic text. Uh, or it's really italic. It's usually how it shows up. Uh, you can even have strike through stuff like that. So uh, basic text formatting works the same way. Um, and you can also have images. Let me actually first show you this works, right? So we have bold text, emphatic, italic, strike through. Uh, you can also have images. So uh, and it actually uses typical markdown syntax. Let me actually move this a little. Um, so uh, the syntax for that is pretty simple. Uh, it's just exclamation point, then inside brackets you say the, the name of whatever picture you want, I mean, what you're gonna call in the presentation. So I'll say, you know, a picture of me. And then in parentheses, this is just markdown syntax, you put whatever the file name of it is. I happen to have a file x.png, which is just a picture of me um, in this directory. So I'm gonna recompile that. Uh, and now we have a picture. Okay, that's actually a pretty creepy picture, but uh, it works. It does work. Um, so this is pretty much uh, the easiest way that I know of just to sort of bust out. Well, A, you can bust out a, a presentation really easily. And the nice thing that is better about this than is about, you know, PowerPoint or something is I can very easily take text from one slide and move it to another depending on whatever text editor you have. It's not like uh, PowerPoint where you have to copy and paste thing, f things from all over the place. And it's a little better than Beamer, at least for doing basic stuff, I mean actual Beamer in LaTeX, uh, just because you avoid a lot of the sometimes cumbersome syntax of LaTeX. Uh, I find that this is really easy for just busting out a presentation in just a couple minutes. And the other nice thing is a lot of times, if especially if you're the kind of person who takes notes in Markdown anyway, uh, you can very easily just sort of bust open your text editor, do whatever note taking you usually do, and later on just convert that into a slideshow just for your own good, even if you don't plan on presenting it, even if you just want to look at your notes in a better way. Um, so this is actually a very small portion of Pandoc itself. I encourage you to bust open your terminal and type in man Pandoc and read all the kind of magic you can do. Uh, but hopefully this is helpful. So hopefully uh, you guys, guys enjoyed it. So see you next time.